My name is Rachel Andrews, and I'll be talking to you today about the nonverbal differences between genders. Um, during this presentation, I will be talking about um, what the main differences are between the nonverbals and genders, um, why there are differences between the genders, and how these could possibly impact you in your life on a day to day basis. Um, have you ever wondered if someone's really into you, or if somebody wants to be your friend? but their nonverbals kind of seem otherwise. Um, well, this is very common for both men and women to experience. Nonverbal body language and gestures are often misunderstood between genders. And after doing much um, extensive research, I found that there are many theories on why this happens. So, main differences um, in nonverbals between uh, males and females are things such as smiling, nodding, uh, facial expressions, hand gestures, um, posture, and the touching of others. And this is according to Judith A. Hall, who is an expert in psychology and social relations. And this is from an article of hers posted in the Psychology of Women Quarterly. Um, there are also differences in how each gender interprets and judges uh, nonverbal cues. This is according to the article, Recall of Nonverbal Cues, Exploring a New Definition of Interpersonal Sensitivity, which is published in the Journal of Nonverbal Behaviors. Um, so why are there differences between genders and their nonverbals? According to Judith A. Hall, uh, males and females alike often misunderstand They also often determine their uh, nonverbals by how much power they feel like they have. Um, and their social status and dominance often control how they feel like to decode and also how to, to um, present their nonverbals. Um, and nonverbals that are performed are often paralleled with their gender status. Um, Feelings, and those are things such as a uh, loud voice, um, body positions, and <coughs> interruptions um, while speaking. Um, and according to the book, Nonverbal Communication and Human Interaction, which is written by Judith A. Hall and Mark L. Knapp, girls and women uh, generally score higher on tests of judging and decoding meanings of nonverbal cues than um, boys and men do. Uh, women often pick up on these uh, smaller <coughs> cues that people give off more than uh, males because generally they're more attentive to these things. Um, and this can affect you in a day-to-day -day basis in a multiple of locations. Uh, it could be in the workplace, it could be at school, it could be in a social environment, um, even with your parents. Uh, people are often misunderstood because they may be feeling one way and trying to act a different way, um, but people can determine different nonverbals in different ways, uh, depending on the context of it. Uh, according to the text Communication Mosaics, which is written by Julia T. Wood, uh, who's an expert in the communication field, the significance of nonverbal behaviors are tentative and depend on the context in which they occur. Um, this is important to remember uh, on a day-to-day -day basis when maybe a friend is like, giving you a cold shoulder or a significant other doesn't seem to be very uh, involved in how you're telling them about how your day is going. Uh, so it can also impact you and how others interpret you. It's important to remember um, these different nonverbals that you give off because it can give impressions of you uh, for other people, especially like a job or a boss and stuff. You need to make sure you're open to it, but also that you don't, you're not quick to judge other people um, because it all depends on the context and you have to remember that in nonverbals. So, in conclusion, um, I talked about today what the main differences are, why there are these differences between genders, and how this can affect you. Um, and it is up to you to determine how you want others to interpret you. Uh, so just remember this when you are in a situation that may not be going your way and you want to show that you are a positive person. Thank you. Thank you.